Yeah, good afternoon to everybody who's here. Uh, today, after five manufacturers have already launched uh, their cars, what we are going to do, we are going to look at the livery of the launched cars and compare 2024, the new cars, to last year, 2023, livery. And then we are also going to do but I'm also going to do my judgment and maybe also talk just about uh, the small details and changes that we can see just by looking at the cars with our naked eyes. I'm not going to be very technical since I'm not a, an engineer. I'm not going to talk about the purposes or why maybe the front wing is this, or why is that, but we are just going to talk about changes that we can see and then rate the livery and also see if there's really any changes to to any of uh, uh, any changes in regard to last year's. So as we have seen that uh, most of, uh, as we can see here, that uh, or as we have seen uh, of, from the launches that have already taken place. So as I'm recording this, this is on the 10th of February. So as we've seen, almost every car has had is partly black or predominantly black. I think, um, and that's, I don't think it's, 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 it's a color. It's actually just a exposed carbon fiber. So I guess uh, they, they are trying not to use too many um, paint to save some weight or something like that. So I think it's not a, like a black paint, it's just a exposed carbon fiber, which are, is already black. Okay, of course, we are going to be doing this in order of launch. Of course, starting with the first launch of the season, which was Haas. So right now, I'm not so specific on the date of uh, the launches. So, but I know uh, Haas launched theirs first. Okay, now, so I'm just using these images from Formula One Facebook page. So, and these are the images that we're going to use. So here, down here, we have 2023 cars. Okay, so you can see here that it's, uh, it's the same look almost. So not like, a, it's a, maybe you can say it's a rebel it's a evolution and not like a revolution it's not drastic changes so the only thing that we can so same sponsor or um, i think the main sponsor same here so uh, money gram of course so there's really not uh, like something you can say that it's completely different but of course you can see here how the has uh, logo look on the sideboard is more profound. It's like very big compared to last year. So, and I think I like uh, this new one. It's like it's like hugging the whole sideboard. So, yeah. So, from the look of things, not really much changes from the side. Uh, apart from the the rear wing, we can see. Of course, I think uh, it's a bit more like. I don't know, it has like a cutout corner compared to last year. So continuing seeing it from the front, from last year, yeah, it's there. Okay, we can see last year it had more of white. 2023 has it more of white. Then, but if you look at this year, it's black is more like the dominant color compared to last year where they had like the front uh, all the way here, it was white here. This year, white is just like the, on the edge of the nose here. So, yeah, that's it. That's the only thing that's really changed when it comes to livery. And then they still keep the, the front wing red, front wing still red from last year here and to, to this year here. So not much, not much really have changed. So moving on from the front, uh, so you can see still uh, the only change from last year is last year they had white here and the nose and this year it's more black and then only uh, the only white 
this year is just on the edge of the nose here and the tip of the nose. So that's it. Why last year here the tip of the nose was red. This year it's white. And then white was dominant last year. So that's what we can see from looking at here. So front wing still red with money gram on it. So I guess that's, that's uh, 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 one thing that, uh, of course, we can distinguish. And one thing that we can tell by just looking at the nose from last year, you can see the nose was more like, uh, it's like rounded off and more, I think, uh, much larger. Just look at this nose. This year it's more like uh, slim and sleek compared to to last year, which is more like wide. Just look at this upper wing part here. Last year it's like very big compared to this year. So and also the way this the I think the technique is different. The way this part of the wings are linked, it's a, it's a bit different. And I also I think or not maybe I'm wrong. The way so the side plate is attached to the to the wing here. I don't know if it's uh, there's really a big difference. That's one thing that, uh, of course, we, which we can aesthetically. And the other thing that I can notice here, look at the at the suspension here. There's also changes. So this is the new one. So we can look at this the wishbone and then the pull rod. I think. So if you look, we can see that. Uh, there are changes compared to last year. Look at the layout here. So you can clearly see, I wish I could uh, bring in a pen to highlight or something, but uh, if I go in that mode, it's not really going to be good and because it's going to be slow, I won't be able to zoom in like I'm doing now. And one thing now that we are done for changing from the things I think at the beginning I've spoken about the the rear wing, the rear wing wing this year of Haas is actually a bit more bulky compared to last year. This is last year's uh, this is last year's uh, rear wing. It says like corners, but look at this year's 2024. It's like there's sharp corner compared to round corner from last year. So, and I think the the rear wing is also a bit more, yeah, I think more thick compared to, look, last year it was a bit more thin. This year it's a, it's like, I think a bit more thicker if I'm, if I'm being right. And the other thing, let's look at the side port opening here. So has side port opening have changed? This is this year compared to last year. Last year they were more wider and big, like wide openings. This year they are more thinner slim and uh and longer compared to la to, to to last year's uh sideboard inlet so yeah uh, that's the uh, much of the what we can see of the changes that we can see from Haas. um yeah but uh do i my judgment of the livery compared to last year uh, there isn't really much changes. I'm not really going to say this. It's like a, it's an evolution, of course. So, but I wouldn't say it's a revolution. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it fit has as we know. As we know, has it's their color. It's 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 perfect. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Now, just to see more of has side images. Mm, so I think I don't have anything to more to add here. So last year to this year, last year to this year. So yeah, that's it. Basic uh, anal ana ana analysis. So then we move on again to the next slide here. We see so front and side. Yeah, it's uh, it's there isn't too big of a changes really. So really not much it's an evolution yeah okay then we move on to the second locher which was williams okay just looking straight on to williams uh, livery for this year compared to last year uh again here i think uh, 
pretty much the same like us, just a, a layout of the livery, but still the same, the same feel of, to the livery. So same shades of blue and shames, uh, at least the only thing that I can say about uh, her, uh, Williams compared to us, Williams actually have a bit more paint. Actually, they've done more paint compared to hers. It's not just uh, exposed carbon. You can see here the exposed carbon, but it's not much like on the house. So, okay, as we go through from the side to see what I can see from changes, of course, I've mentioned that um, the, uh, mentioned that the, the what? The, uh, the, um, the livery is just a new layout. So, but still same shades of blues. So light blue, darker blue, and mid blue, hue blue, which is good. And which is, that's what we know, the color that we, we know has, I mean, not has, but Williams. So, so, um, okay. Let's see what we can see is changes, okay? I must say I like the, the incorporation of the Duracell from last year, it's still back. So just uh, last year it was like uh, skewed, this year it's just horizontal, uh, vertically straight. So really, really not much here. And I think the only big thing that we can see here from this year, they really have like, I think it's the main sponsor, Komatsu, Komatsu here, why last year there wasn't really big of a maybe sponsor, and this year they have a big sponsor, if you look to the sideboard there. And then I think if we can tell, the sideboard has definitely changed, definite change. I think it sort of take a, a shape of a Red Bull sideboard, if I'm not wrong, compared to last year's sideboard here, and the last year's sideboard was more like Berkey, and the inlet, I think, is also different. Now, if we look at this year's 2024 sideboard, look at that, it's more streamlined, thin, and uh, the inlet, yeah, the inlet actually of the sideboards is, is different from the sides. Okay, moving on from the front, seeing the house from the front, this is last year's 2023. Okay, we can see that there's uh, actually changes that we can see with our eyes, whether it's uh, the shape of the front wing, the shape of the rear wing. I think, uh, yeah, there's also a change at the suspension and wishbone and pull, pull rod. Um, we can see the, the difference here, just the layout. I think uh, more cars are taking like a, uh, if I'm not wrong, it's a bit of a Red Bull approach. I guess uh, it's always good to copy what works, seems to work, okay? Because uh, looking at the, as we have seen with Haas, the same thing with William, we've seen that uh, the configuration of the pool, uh, of the wishbone, and then the pool rod uh, have definite changes if you look here. And uh, one thing I can see, I think they've also changed the whole uh attachment here just look here so so here it's the attachment to the car there's definitely change this is last uh, this year's and then if you look also at the nose the nose is more flatter while last year it was a little bit more round here this is 2023 the nose was a bit more round but looking at this year's 2024 car launch the nose is a bit more flatter okay and um, let's look at the inlet. The inlet also, as we've seen from the side, they've changed. Sorry, 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 guys. Just bumped my mic there. But uh, also, okay, I think for them, they didn't really change completely like us. The nose is still an over form, but I think uh, they've narrowed it a bit. It was still the same, so. Yeah, but uh, last year, as we remember, William was a monster on a straight line speed. So uh, now moving on to the front wing. The front wing, of course, again, is also a change. We can see the changes there. 
so it's see there that here again compared to last year it's a bit more I think narrower this is last year it's a bit more white like the width of the whole week front wing compared to this year and then uh, again so but I must say Williams seems to attach to be very clean about the attachment of the wing especially last year look this isn't much see other car you see where they match these things to part with the other a lot of connection but uh, this year they seems to have more actually it's pretty much the same it's just that this year they are more sticking out like you see these it's like metal this, while last year they weren't so prominent because i guess they were also painted black like the the wing itself so they weren't so very standing out like this year so this year we can see this metal connectors there Let's look at how the end plate is attached to, to, to the front wing. Seeing the same technique, I think not really much changes, but I can see there isn't this on last year, but they are on to this year's car. So, okay, in the livery again from the front. Oh, and uh, before I go to the livery from the front, let's talk about the rear wing. The rear wing, as we can see here, um it's definitely has changed so it's almost like as you, you remember like this has start just going to uh and talk about the referencing between Haas and william has um uh, this year has had more of this wing while last year they had more of this wing. why william this year they have the rounded thinner rounded wing this which has had last year while last year they had like uh, this boxy like sharp corner wing last year compared to this wing and then I, i'm sorry i'm just gonna take you guys a bit back to has uh, one thing that i forgot to mention is this the inlet here on top so the air inlet there you can see it have actually changed last year it was like a, a square shape uh, uh, triangular shaped this year it's like more rounded over shaped so and uh, looking at the William here so it's they keep almost the same shape of the inlet here so yeah okay moving on to the livery from the front um yeah not much to really not a like a revolutionary it's just an evolution just a new application and if I see I think it's only shiny because this is light, uh, lights bouncing off the, because of the oval nose. While this one, because it's flat, there isn't much light bouncing from the side. And that's why it looks a bit, you might think the color is different. But to me, it's the same blue, I think. And um, yeah. Okay, moving on. So front and side view of the Williams. Last year's cars uh as i see they didn't have a big sponsor to the side big partner logo to their side like they do this year definitely this year you can see there is komatsu to on the side board so good for them for getting a, a good sponsor and uh but it's just a different application of the livery different color uh, design but definitely not too much uh, the only thing that I like about Willem is that they are really using the colors. They are not having much carbon fiber exposed. So, to from the side again, we've already talked about this. Not much to say here. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to really talk about the floor. I uh, told you guys I'm not an engineer. I'm just going to be talking about uh, what the eyes can see okay from the front again now we're moving on to something this is alfa romeo okay alfa romeo is one of the team that they completely have gone for the name change just pretty much everything has changed so last year this alfa romeo of course stake but to this year, I think Stake have really 
either have more gotten more involved because they are literally very standing out you can see from the side port rear wing so the nose here everything i mean last year i mean looking at the livery i mean last year it was red and black this year it's green so it's they are little moved from Alfa Romeo and the and I think Alfa okay last year it was an Alfa Romeo they had Alfa Romeo colors this year completely Alfa Romeo logo it's not even here is it yeah it's not even on the nose so it's completely I don't think because uh, as we know this team in 2026 is going to be Audi so it's going to be Audi from 2026 so and already here in 2024 there's a massive change up so just very big change so there's no Alfa Romeo anywhere on this new car I'm really trying to make sure that I'm correct I don't see it because if you look at last year 2023 car Alfa Romeo Alfa Romeo logo on the tip of the nose on the side here yeah toward the vent this year absolutely nothing this is this year so the name after apart from the big name change because now it's known as kick sauber formula one team and it used to be alfa romeo kick alfa romeo from last year today i mean this year 2024 is stake kick so stake but uh, one thing looking at this i think uh, last year it was also a bit more exposed carbon black a bit more black this year the same but they just replace it's red completely is off and then rem changed to green but uh, compared to the two previous launcher which was uh, Haas and Williams I would say this is one of the livery that uh, I can really say okay I would say it's a it's a change that we can really say yes there's a change here the change and I must say I like it because it's going to give the grid a different look and appeal. Green from red, I mean, the only sort of green, it's not really green that was on the uh, on this car. I don't know, back in the day, was it Minari or, or, or Force India that sort of had green? Now, the only green, but it's not real green, which is, is Aston Martin. It's, it's not this green. This is like very bright green. But compared to last year, yes, I can say this is a change that we can all see. We can really see when it come to the livery. So it's no longer Alfa Romeo or it's no longer stake Alfa Romeo from last year to this year. It's kick stake. I don't even know what's the real name. It's, uh, kick stake. Is it stake first or kick? I'm sorry guys, but uh, the name has changed, the livery has changed everything. So, I, yeah, I think there's even new sponsor, but um, that's not going to go into that. I don't want to talk about that. So what I'm saying, now let's look at the front wing from last year. And definitely you can see changes. There are changes. Even the inlet, there are changes. The side port, there are changes the rear wing there are changes definitely a lot of changes so then let's continue with a uh, kick sauber this is last year 2023 then this is this year look at that wing the changes in the front wing there so so here if just to zoom out if you can see here uh um we can clearly see that there's a change on the wing. This is one thing that I've noticed this year, that this year almost every there's a change to every castle front wing. There's different change. It's, let's say it's more pointy. Last it was more wider. And this year, just look, even the, the, this year how the wing look. Look at last year and look at this year. So it's more like cornerish here toward the the end uh, the, uh, the end plane of the of the front wing 
yeah, we can definitely see that. Um, I'm not going to talk about the livery. There's definitely a massive change. That's big change. And uh, from here, the same. I'm trying to go to the front so we can compare the, f the suspension. And uh, looking at this, I can definitely say there's also, yep, there's also a new a, an application in the suspension and the push rod, pull rod, everything. Look at this, just the layout. Look at last year, they had this. This year, they don't have that. They have this instead. So, so the pull rod and the wishbone, it's a new layout completely. And then looking at this side port inlet, the side port have also changed now. From last year here, they had more wider and side port opening. And this year they have like, uh, they've narrowed them up and they're not as wider and like rounded off this, you can see that they sort of have a cut in there in this year. So to see the side board here is like a cut in. I don't know which team has this. Is, is it Red Bull? Is it Red Bull? Which team had sort of? Is it Ferrari? Yeah, I think Ferrari is the one who introduced the sort of cut in from 2022. Hmm. So definitely changes. And then the inlet definitely changed here you can see the changes from last year this is last year so um, side port inlet change there and suspension and then i think the nose also changed yes the nose has changed completely there's a bit of a change in the way it look it's designed there's a change there and the side port the inlet there and of course the inlet there on top compared to this last year and this this year. And then the rear wing definitely changed. This is last year rear wing, this year rear wing, definitely it's have like a rounded off corners. Uh, there's also a bit bulky still, the width is still there, just that it's a different shape and look. Yeah, and that's it. So, and if I'm looking at the back here and look here, in the rear suspension, it's also a bit of a different compared to last year. Just look here so, and look. So this year, definitely, there's a car have, uh, I think, have gone deep into their aerodynamic uh, application of their components like suspension, side port, inlet, and everything, front wing and rear wing. So that's it. You can see kick sauber uh, stake from the side again. And uh, I think we can see that the, the side port is also has taken a bit different. This is last year. Look at this side port from here, the shape of that side port to this year's side port. Again, this is almost every team is mimicking Red Bull shape of a side port. So just let's go back again. Look at that. There's this similarity here, guys, going all the way back to us. Look at that similarity in the side port from this year, all cars this year. So far, what I've spoken about, they have Red Bull's type of or form of side port. And it's very clear from every side port that I've seen this year. Okay. Now, we are going on to the fourth team, which is Alpine. Okay, Alpine keep its name. So still their main title sponsor, main sponsor still BWT. This is last year. So you can see here. I think last year they had more color. If you're looking at here, they had more color compared to this year. Okay. The side port, okay, I would say them, they are, for them, for all the four teams that I've talked about so far, they are the only one who they haven't really made a big change to their side port. They have their unique style. They didn't make it look like Red Bullish side port design or feel or form. Okay, now getting into this year's car. 
definitely we see the change in the live in the two livery from 2023 here and this year 2024 you can see last year they had more color this year again as you can see with the exp uh, with the with the exception of williams every team have a lot of exposed carbon it's it's not you think it's black but it's just exposed carbon fiber i guess it's they are not trying to apply too much paint to save weight of something and we can see again with alpine here what they've done not too much color compared to last year last year the whole sideboard was pinkish and some nice design pattern here and here this year look just bwt and then black just a dash of color toward the the toward the the uh, the rear suspension and here but look at last year it was all blue color all blue so continuing so then i'll go in front then look at from the front we can see last year you can see last year here so okay i think i've noticed some changes already given to the inlet and the front wing and then i think the rear wing now let's th this is last year now look at this year look here yes yes the very big change that i can just tell with my eyes without is the inlet of sideboard inlet look here so they have changed them last year it, they were like a bit yeah i think short i think this is just a color this where they end last year so it's like boxy inlet this year they are more like a overly rounded off long inlet look here and then the rear wing is a bit more wider or or i don't know if the wing rear wing need to be the specific size as per fi regulation because this year it definitely look a bit more wider but i keep sort of the same shape now not like other cars that they've either changed from a an a, a overly rounded off corner to a like boxy corner this year alpine rear wing sort of keep the same shape i think when it comes to corners the inlet of course in so i think the engine here because of this uh, inlet uh, for the radiator i think side port the uh, radiator inlet here so and i think this one is uh, this one is uh, is um, the engine inlet here on top you can tell i hope i'm correct is the engine inlet because i think this is inlet for the radiator cooling so this is, could be the engine to the engine so fresh air to the in if if we look here and cool so this one this year the shape of that is different from to the to that of last year so and the other thing that we can jumping on next is to the suspension yes again another team all the team so far the fourth team now Alpen is the fourth team to launch and as you can see suspension layout has changed the suspension layout has changed definitely you see look at the wishbone and the push road uh, pull rod there i mean it's the layout is totally different the application from last year they see the and look here this how the layout there is different and then the nose is different this is last year this year nose is more like rounded off and flat and the last year it was flat but uh, look at the the shape of it is like more pointy compared to this year and then now lastly let's talk about the front wing front wing definitely it's clearly you can see from last year's one which was bulky and like a sort of a rounded off and then cave in toward the end pl end side plate or end plate you can see here the the changes of the shape on this year's wing here zoom in so you can see this is this year's car so 
and then um, compared to to last year, there's definitely a clear change in the in the in the front wing there. Okay, um, moving on. Okay, if this one there's not really much I'm going to talk about here. You can see the nose change there, the front wing change. Everything is clear that we've already spoken about. So the side port, of course, they have changed. So, but the only thing that I can say about Alpine is that for them, their side port doesn't follow the Red Bull shape. It's not the Red Bull shape like all the three teams that I've spoken about. Okay, you can see the Okay, their livery, of course, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, this the Alpine that we know of, the color of Alpine is fine. I, it's okay. Okay, if though we can at least what we can see that they got more black now. Okay, moving on. We've spoken about that. Spoken about that. So nothing much to talk with here. We're just moving on. Then the last launcher so far, because I think this launched on the 9th, which was yesterday, is now here. I must. Oh, it, I think this is uh, the sort of the kick sauber sort of where they have go. It's a complete change, complete change in the team's name. Everything have changed almost. It's no longer Alpha Tauri. Last year, it was Alpha Tauri. But one thing that I must say, and I hope you guys can agree with me here, is that I'm sort of disappointed because I think we already have too much blue, this blue on the grid. Let me say, for example, this is the same blue on William. Kind of, maybe might not be the same color exactly. But I must say I liked Alpha Tauri colors. It just was very unique on the to everything else on the grid. I liked um, Alpha Tauri's uh, color uh, combination. They were very cool. That's one thing that I can say I, I will miss. So, okay. So Alpha Tauri is no longer the name of this team. Now, this one is like a, a Red Bull sisterly team. Now it's Cash App, it's like Visa Cash App RB Formula One team. That's the, the name sort of now. The name has changed. It's the Visa Cash App um, RB. Yeah, this is going to cause one of those things that's going to cause some confusion, especially to the new people who are new to form. They are just starting to follow Formula One. It's going to cause a bit of a confusion because there's an... The RB, when we say Red Bull, it's just Red Bull where Max Verstappen, Checo, Sergio Perez drive. Now we are going to have to get used to RB, the other RB team where Daniel Ricciardo and Yuki Sonoda are driving for. Okay, uh, of course, changes is always good. And um, of course, as they say, changes is always for the better. I mean, if it's working perfectly, there wouldn't be need to change it. And uh, just to emphasize again, it's no longer Alpha Tauri, it's now this. So looking at the livery, just judging the livery, it's of course, uh, just zoom out so we can see them side by side. Or not side by side, but uh, yeah. The side by side vertically. So you can look at the 2023 color combination. There's, everything is clearly visible, the changes. The side port inlet have changed, even the side port shape have changed. Also, this is everything that have changed on every car so far that has been launched, is the suspension layout. Oh, wish, uh, wishbone and the pool road all have a new layout. So looking at this, uh, this suspension here, the new, and here for this year, definitely new changes. Looking in the front wing, exactly almost every team, yeah, every team has changed its front wing. So I guess this is a team trying to maximize the aerodynamic efficiency of their cars, try to be as closer and get as closer to the concept of getting everything right as Red Bull are, are, are as efficient as Red Bull are.
So looking at the front wing, last day it was against Barky. Last year, I think we see that the wings, front wings were a bit more Barky. The wind, the just the all wing, uh, front wing were more Barky. This year, thin and the more pronounced and the slick sort of. Looking at the at the last year's uh, the nose is totally changes. Last year it was more sort of flat, roundy. This year it's more flat but with sharp corner or be, is it uh, bevel or what's the English name? Is it bezel or bevel? I don't know. What name. So definitely changes. Even so, and then looking at the inlet, we've spoken about that changes. The side port have changed, the inlet have changed. And then look at the rear wing, the rear wing also definitely changes. More slicker, thin compared to last year, boxy and uh, more thin, uh, wider or wider rear wing. The inlet to the engine also, okay, not much changes compared to other team, but uh, still keep the same shape. So that's it, guys. So those, those are the things that we can see just as we can look at this. So going forward from front and side look, yep, nothing much. It's now more blue. It's an Alpha Tauri, as I said. It's no longer Alpha Tauri. It's completely gone. The team has changed. But I must say I like this color. And I also like this Alpha Tauri logo very much. I liked it, how it looked it toward the the engine cover there, how it looked there on the engine cover. Now it's Visa. Visa took over. This is the same concept as the Alfa Romeo to kick Sauber. Um, this is the same, complete change, complete name change, complete colors. Yeah, so maybe this is the only two team that I can say they have really an overhaul, which is the Alfa Romeo to Sauber and Alfa Tauri to cash. Visa cash app. These are the biggest, biggest changes overall. Big change in the looks and big change in the team's name. Yeah, so those are the two teams that have changed so far. So going on, I can just say again, there we have uh, 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 these are the main changes. Okay. Just to conclude here, as we go on, I can just say that, uh, yeah, um, the biggest changes, of course, for me, one thing that I can say and we can talk about when, when it comes to changes that we can really see our, with our naked eyes is that all teams have changed their front wing, every front wing and, and the, a new layout to the suspension front suspension and I think if I'm not wrong just that I couldn't see the rear suspension but front suspension or team there's a new application the new layout the pull rod uh push rod the wishbone new application on on on, on all teams front wing everything changed in the side port almost a, apart from Alpine of all the teams that have launched so far Alpine is the only team that doesn't have a Red Bull l l Red Bull looking kind of sort of sideboard shape. Um, it's only uh, uh, Alpine who, who's, uh, if I were to just, who's uh, this year's uh, sideboard is not as Red Bull or is not Red Bull inspired. If you look at everything else, it's Red Bull inspired. Just look here. Everything sideboard is Red Bull inspired or everything. So go to has look at that it's a Red Bull inspired. Let's go to to Kick Sauber Red Bull inspired, and then lastly William Red Bull inspired. The shape they all look like Red Bull. So so far conclusion, all I can say is yes, there's a, a big changes. I think teams are going to try to 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 to, to change their aerodynamic to improve their aerodynamic efficiency and get as closer to Red Bull and be efficient in their application. And so that has brought a lot of changes, especially when it comes to the front wing, the side port, side port inlet, and then 
also to the front suspension and then I think rear suspension. So far of the five teams that have, I've just spoke now, those, the one that have launched, launched their car so far, starting with uh, Haas, the first team to launch, all the way to the uh, Visa Cash App Red Bull. All cars have all those components that I've talked about change. The front wing, the suspension application, front suspension and uh, rear suspension, although I didn't really clearly see of, of all the cars rear suspension, but the front suspension the application have changed on all five teams that have launched so far. So, and those teams are starting in the order of launch. I started with Haas, Haas, of course, and then Haas was followed by William, then they were followed by Kick Sauber, and then they were followed by Alpine, and then lastly it was Visa Cash App. So all team have changed those components. And I think also things like uh, the rear wing has also changed and everything. So car have really tried to uh, really trying to get closer to the efficiency of Red Bull in their aerodynamic application of their car. So I'm really excited uh, for this year. Uh, uh, this year's uh, uh, season, 2024 season, I mean, teams should be very understanding. Uh, they have acquired more data now from 2022-2023 because uh, the new regulation uh, regulation were introduced in 2022. So CAR have had two years collecting that uh, data to make sure that they, they can put forward challenging cars for 2024 season. So I expect this season to be actually quite challenging in team because team have gotten more information, more data to help them design a car that is more competitive. And then hopefully all I can hope and want is that uh, it's not going to be a landslide like last year. Red Bull are not going to just run it, run away with it and more dominant because at least um, hopefully this year we can expect to get more competition, more team uh, competing in course we want more competition. We just don't want the Red Bull just after two, three or four laps, they are gone already over three seconds ahead of everybody. We want close fighting this year. And that's really what I want. And I want team closer to each other. And I hope so far and then uh, i'm also going to do a video like this for the five remaining team that still haven't launched so far and that's uh, red bull mercedes ferrari now what's the other team that haven't launched um mm, uh, aston martin and uh and what's the other team <sighs> aston martin and uh come on let me remember, I forgot already which uh, is there. Oh, and McLaren, and McLaren's. Oh, thanks God, I was able to remember the four remaining teams. So the four remaining teams, McLaren, Aston Martin, Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull. I'll be doing, because I, I decided to break down into five, I think, so that the video doesn't have to be too long. So I'll be doing the same video like this on the five remaining team. So thank you very much who for, for those that tuned in in this um, video, just to look at the livery the, of the car, comparing them to last year, this year, comparing them to last year's livery. And then we also got to talk about uh, the changes that we can see with our, our, with our own eyes, the naked eyes. I'm not an engineer. I'm not going to go deep in technical detail. I'm not, go, I'm not I didn't talk about how they perform, it's just to talk about the changes that we can see. And we spoke about the front wing, the su uh, front suspension, the side pod, the side pod inlet, then we spoke about the rear wing also. So those are the main components that I spoke of, what we can see with our wing. And then also, yeah, thank you very much, guys. So I hope this was very, in. in somewhat informative from someone who is not an engineer or aerodynamicist so or i'm just say somebody who like formula one who's an enthusiast of the sport and i really like and just enjoy the design of these cars and what goes in 
in into team making this car and the, what I really like about Formula One, what made Formula One to be my number one sport or four sport is just is because of physics, the way they harness the wind, not the wind, but the air. So that's what I like. It's the physics that uh, goes in making a car that is very aerodynamically efficient, efficient, efficient. Sorry, guys. So this is the end of the video. I salute you all for viewing this. And um, I, and if you are, if you'll be so kind to hit that uh, subscribe button, of course, I will appreciate it. Thank you.